What's up guys, Landon here back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about something that I think that all of you DIYers and creators are going to be interested in. So typically if you're looking for an engraver you're going to be spending upwards of you know a few hundred dollars but a lot of people who just want some basic engraving machine that they can use for all their small crafts and projects they don't want to spend that much and that's where this guy comes in. So Coal Meter has a $90 engraving machine on Amazon link is down in the description as always and I've been playing with it and I must say this thing is very cool now it's actually a laser engraving machine so you can engrave wood plastic leather all the all the materials that are meltable burnable you can engrave and it's very precise so today I'm going to be going over how detailed it is I'm going to be giving some examples of some engravings and I'm going to talk about how you actually set it up and use it. And in the end, I'm going to tell you whether or not I think that this is worth it. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So real quick, I just want to show you how this actually works. Um, as you can see on the bottom, you have your red platform. The laser is on right now, but it's not in full power mode. It's just showing you where it's positioned at the moment. Um, and when you start it, it'll automatically calibrate itself. But the platform moves vertically. So that's what's going to guide the laser on your engraving when it goes up and down. Now here at the top, as you can see, the laser is actually covered in a heat sink. So as it's probably a pretty powerful laser. I wouldn't advise touching it. Um, but this is what guides the laser side to side. And I think that how they did this is actually pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of a 3D printer. Um, and it, it actually kind of works the same way. Um, you have two cables connected from the printer to your computer, so you're gonna have to have two open USB cables for this to work. One, I guess, is for data and the other is for power, or one is for data and power and the other is for power because I do know in the manual it says that this takes 12 volts. And that's how powerful this laser is. But um, let's go ahead and go through the process of setting this up so I can show you just how easy it is. So one of the cool things that I think um, it makes this very easy to set up is the fact that the company actually includes a micro SD card with a micro SD card to USB adapter. Um, all you have to do is simply plug this adapter into your computer. I have to plug it in over here. Um, and you get access to all your installation files just like that. So as soon as it opens, you can just, uh, well, I already have it extracted, so I don't need to extract this, but you open it here and then you can install the software and it has Mac software, Windows software. It has uh, sample pictures for you to um, engrave, but it's very easy to install. You just go to the software for Windows, you install the driver, you install Microsoft.net if you have to, your computer may already have that up to date, and then you install the Laser Carver version 1.1.4.1. Um, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that, but it is as simple as dragging these things that you need to install over to your desktop and then opening them, and they'll guide you through the installation process. So since I already have it installed, I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you how the software works. So uh, since I'm organized, I'm going to go to Tools and then Engraver, and then as you can see, I have the application right here. It'll automatically connect once you plug it in. So once it's connected, as you can see, connected, okay, you drag the image that you want over to this area and literally that's just about all you have to do. You just hit start and then it'll it'll engrave. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some wood to engrave and then I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, so as you can see, I've now grabbed a piece of balsa wood and put it in here and I've pulled up a sample picture and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to engrave. So you just take the picture you want to engrave, make sure it is square, it'll automatically adjust it, but make sure it's square. And if it's not square, it'll squeeze it or compress it as much as it needs to be um, in order to fit a square. But as soon as you drag it on there, it'll give you options to select between either, if this will go away, I'm just gonna select this one. And as you can see, it's now ready to be engraved. So, um, once it's connected, you can add text if you want to. You simply just tap in the text and then you hit insert and then it'll you just drag and drop it wherever you want it to be. Um, but uh, other than that, you just hit send image to machine and it will automatically take care of everything. As you can see, it's downloading and now it's calibrating. So now that it's calibrating, it'll tell me its print area. As you can see, the print area, if I can hit this button, um, it'll show me the print area again. 
Uh, and if I don't want it there, I can adjust it, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. But uh, if it's good, if it looks good to you, then you just go ahead and hit start and it'll begin. And so as you can see, this thing is very precise. I am not looking at that laser because they actually include a pair of specialized glasses. That's how bright this laser is. But um, other than that, I'm going to let it do its thing and uh, shift to time lapse mode. smell of burnt wood anyways as you can see it's done and uh, let's go ahead and take a look so once it's done you just slide it right out from under the rubber bands and look at that that is extremely accurate for a $90 machine I don't think you can get more accurate than that and of course this is just wood but again you can do it on plastic and stuff as you can see though there is a little bit of bleed as I would call it um, in between the burn marks, I think I should have lowered the burn time, but that's something you're going to have to experience, uh, experiment with. But uh, look at that. Compare that to that. I mean, come on. Look at that. That's, that's awesome. Um, super easy to use and only $90, I must say. I think that this is definitely worth $90. Um, and like I said, you can engrave leather, wood, plastic. You can actually, I engraved in my brother's phone case with his YouTube channel name. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, anything you can think of that you can engrave, you know, unless it's metal or something like that, ceramic, you can do it. And, uh, the only problem I have with this engraver, but again, you really can't complain considering it's only $90, is the small print area. So don't expect to be good, you know, be able to print, you know, huge, uh, engravings. But, um, for small engravings, this, this machine is absolutely perfect. I highly recommend it. Super easy to use, easy to set up, and uh, that is my review of the coal meter uh, engraver. But uh, if you like that video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my giveaway link down in the description. I'm giving a I'm giving away the Osku two in one Bluetooth speaker and power bank. Um, there's only a few days left as of the making of this video, so uh, go ahead and enter as many times as you can. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.